Hello friends, myself Rakesh. Welcome back to Expo Hub Automation Wall Channel. Today we are going to look at UiPath slow step and breakpoint demo in UiPath debugging. So you must have already seen that when you go to debug panel, you have something called slow step and the other one is called breakpoint. So let's get a live demonstration of this one, how it works. Now for this, let me use a simple assign activity and let me create a variable called int integer variable, okay? Or I will say int value, the variable name, and I am going to convert this to integer, okay? And this variable, let me use it in the assign activity. Let me try again int value. Okay. And here let me provide a value to this variable as 10. So the starting value is 10. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is copy paste this activity. And here I'm going to write int value plus 10. So each time it's going to run. So this time it's going to increase the value by 10. So 10, 20. Let me copy paste three, four times. Okay. So now what would happen? The very first value, right? The very first value will be 10. This will become 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay. So let me delete the last one. All right. So I have added 10, 20, 30, 40, and the last one would be 50. So let me delete. Okay. So you can keep as many you need. So once I keep the let me run the debug in the debug mode. Okay. So I'm running the project, the entire project into the debug mode. So let me hit on debug. So what's happening now, you look at the output panel. Okay. So now the debug mode has appeared and I have run the debug mode. Okay. So now let's see what is happening. Do I get chance to look at where exactly the debug is running? If you, if this is your project, so you can see the debug would will run it very fast. If you look at it, let's wait for a second. Okay. So what happened just now you saw the debug has run very quickly. So I did not had a chance to look at as to what exactly happened, right? I did not had a chance to even pause it because it ran very fast, very quick. And I could not literally pause it. I did not get a chance. So that is the point where I would be using the slow step option in UiPath. So let's see that. So let me now enable slow step. So when it, if you have a close look, initially it will be off. So if you click it once, you will get a speed called 1x, which is the slowest. Okay. If I click again, then it will become 2x, slightly faster than 3x and 4x. So the slowest one is 1x. So let me turn it off and click it once again and keep it as 1x. So it will run in the 1x speed. So now if I run it in the debug mode, let's see what's going to happen. So you will see it'll, it goes really slow. You can see sequence started the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. So I can pause it anytime I need, right? So it, it went through in a very slow manner. So that is quite clear with the slow step name itself. So I can pause it. So where did I pause it? So I paused it here. Now, the moment I pause it, I can literally see what is the value of the variable. So at this point, the int value variable value was 40. So I can see it in the local panel. So 40 plus 10, when it goes to the next one, it will become 50. So if I continue and pause it, so now you can see it had become 50. So like that, using the slow step, you get an option to pause and look at things. So you don't want to manually pause. You want to pause it at certain point. Let's say at this point, I want to pause it. So what you do, there's an option available for you called breakpoint. So you don't want to pause it manually. Rather, you want it to be paused. So I can use a breakpoint option here. Okay. And here I want to use a breakpoint. So what would happen here? If I, so the slow step is enabled and also the breakpoint. So I'm just clicking on it and it's enabled. So let me hit on debug. So I'm clicked on once. Okay. Breakpoint. I clicked once and this entire red button has come. So what would happen? The first one, 
you will see the first one has executed and the second one it's going to automatically pause for you it has automatically paused so you can see the value of it the int variable is 10 now it become 10 plus 10 it will become 20 okay so let me hit on continue so like that i can verify the values so now at this point so you can see 10 20 30 at this point the int value variable value is 30 so 30 plus 10 the next one will become 40 right so like that i can use a breakpoint and so let me continue okay so the breakpoint will become very very useful anywhere you would like to pause it automatically so there are a couple of things okay now if you see a complete red button it means the breakpoint is enabled if you want to disable for example i want to disable this so click once again then you will get something like this okay the red color has vanished from the center right only the border has the red color so at su in such case you have disabled the breakpoint so let me run it now you will see at this point it will not stop so let me run the debug okay first one second one also continued third one and the fourth one it stopped you understood so that is where you want to disable let's say you want to remove it so you want to remove that breakpoint then what you do highlight on this click on this once again then it will be removed okay so first is enable disable remove so these are the if you click on three times this is what happens you can see it right okay i have removed it so that is the use of the breakpoint now what what i can do with the breakpoint let's say let me again run it and here i have applied on the fourth on the one two three fourth on the fourth one i have applied a breakpoint so let me hit on the debug mode so exactly at this fourth activity it's going to stop okay and here i can edit the value of this variable so what is the value it's holding now 30 right 10 20 30 so it is holding the value called 30 so let me change it to instead of 30 let me make it let's say 400 okay i clicked on okay and let me also apply a breakpoint here so that i can see it so let me continue so what happened at this point uh, so 400 plus 10 410 so the initial value before executing assign activities 410 so 410 plus 10 will become 420 right so that's how the use of breakpoint so depending on your project you guys can go ahead and utilize this breakpoint option to ch check what value it is gaining is it getting the right value or not so all of this it will be very very helpful for you in case this video has helped you please do hit on the like uh, and please do subscribe to our channel reason being our channel has got almost all the content that is required for you to become an expert on ui path and that's going to help you a lot in your interviews too so thank you very much please do like and please do subscribe to our channel and we'll come up with next set of videos thank you you guys have a great day